Hey designers, so I posted this yesterday for the first day of Inktober and the theme was uh, poisonous. So the first thing I thought of was a snake. So I thought, why would I, I thought I would do a little brush play and create a snake motif. So in this little um, exercise, I used three different brushes. One of them, this gold brush in the middle that I used to make the snake sort of shape, that is from my Wet Paint Studio brush number 30. And I have two new brushes which are available for my All Access member and they're in the October Downloads folder. So I'll put the link below. If you are an All Access member, you can download them now. And those ones are actually mixer brushes and there's one that's dry and one that's wet. So um, I'm just going to demo all these brushes and show you how you can make something similar if you like. So for the snake shape, I'm going to go for brush number 30 of the Wet Paint Studio. And I have it loaded up with uh, one of the metallic colors that come with Wet Paint Studio. It's just this one in the top left corner. So I hit option and select and it loads that up in that palette up into my brush. And then I can just go here and paint. And it's got, I love the brush number 30. It's got all that really nice streaky detail. So that's really fun. So that is the first brush that I use. And then the next brush is the dry snake skin. And it's a mixer brush like the wet paint studio brushes are. But on this one, I have the wetness turned way down um, so that mainly it's quite dry, but I still pick up this texture and I'll show you how I picked up this texture. Um, now, if you start painting with that brush, you'll see that I already have it loaded with this really cool gray-brown mixture. But the thing with mixer brushes, if you change the size, if they're a tool preset and they have that um, palette already loaded up into them, well, if you change the size of it or size the brush up or down, you're going to lose that uh, sample and it's going to go back to whatever was your last sample. So. In, in case you want to have that brush in a different size, which probably you do, you want, um, I'm going to show you where I got the, the paint that's in it. And I used the, this palette, which is from my Gilded Undergrowth Color Couture. And it is this product here, which if you're an All Access member, you can um, download this. And it's one of the wet palettes. And this collection, by the way, was inspired by this couture dress and I sampled colors from this, which is really cool. So um, I have that palette open and I'm going to hit option, select, and I want this one right here. And that's the color that I'm gonna sample for the dry snakeskin brush. So I have that sampled and then I paint and it's got that really cool texture built in and it looks like it might even have a layer style, but this is 100% pure brush, so it's very cool. And that's the dry brush. Excuse my little notification sound in the background. And then the next one that I have is that wet snakeskin mixer brush. And this one is really cool because it's got that snakeskin texture in there, which is really fun, but it's got more wetness in it, so it kind of smears, and it's really fun. It can really interact with um, some different, the whatever you have already on there. So like if I brush a little bit this dry snakeskin brush and I take my wet one, you'll see it like smudges and it makes a really cool, um, you know, it interacts with the paints a lot really well. So that is the wet snakeskin mixer brush. And I actually have that loaded up with this metallic that's right here. Um, in the wet paint studio. I wanted a gold for that one. So, and I wanted a gold with like a lot of contrast. So that's the, um, that's what it's loaded up on default. And, but if you change the size of the brush, then you'll have to reload it with whatever color you want. But all these brushes, you know, the mixer brushes, you can load, you can use any palettes from my wet paint studio. So for example, I've got some cool pearlescent colors, pearlescent palettes. So I'm going to hit option and select and get this. I like this iridescent one here and I can put that brush in a really cool iridescent. So how cool is that? Or maybe even like a pearlescent. So you can get lots of different effects. So I 
I encourage you to follow along with my Instagram if you're not already. And I'm going to show you lots of tips and tricks. And you can do a lot of cool things with these, um, these new snakeskin mixer brushes. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. And if you have any questions, just uh, mention them in the comments.